Okay, and this is how to set up a player's score. So we'll start a new empty project. First things first, we'll add a sprite, call it ball. I'm just going to rush through this bit quite quickly because I just want to concentrate on them, um, just on updating the scoreboard really. Um, we're just going to make it very simple. If you click this ball, you get 10 points. Okay, now on to the real tutorial. So, add an object. We're going to add text. It'll ask if you want to activate the extension in the game. Click yes. Call this uh, scoreboard. Okay, next we're going to right click here. Modify initial variables. We're going to add a variable. Call that player score and uh, it'll start on zero. Uh, also right click here and edit the properties will make the background black so the ball and score show up a bit better. Okay now on to some events. First event we're going to add a timer so add a condition timers and time value of timer every point one of a second we'll call this score timer Next in the actions, we're going to reset the timer. Make sure you type this name exactly the same. Don't make any spelling mistakes or anything, otherwise this won't work. Then we're going to click add a sub-event. So when the timer hits this, it will check through all these sub-events. Now add a condition. If the mouse button left is pressed, left with a capital L, I'm going to add a second condition. Um, sprite, mouse, the cursor is on an object and um, the object is ball. So if my cursor is on the ball and I click left we're going to increment the score so variables, value of variable. We already declared player score make sure you spell it correctly and we're going to do plus um, 10. Okay and uh, next up, I'll add another sub-event here. Make sure you drag it below this one. So we're going to update the score in this event. And we want that to be after the score could have been changed. And it'll execute these in order. If we uh, do this here, it won't update the score until the next time around. OK, so make sure they're in this order. We're just going to add an action. And this will be our score update text object, modify the text. The object is scoreboard which we already declared over here and we're going to make it equal to score. Now everything in double quotes will show up exactly as written. So this will show up exactly as written there. I'm going to type plus which means you want something else to be in the text box too. I'll click edit the text and we want to click on the end here, so it adds it onto the end. Go on variables, scene variables, player score. And that means it will input the number of our player score there. Okay. Let's go on the scene, hit preview, and check this all works. Oh I didn't I didn't drag the text into the scene. Okay. Make sure you drag the text into the scene and we'll double click and make this text a bit bigger, make it size 60. There you go. And this says text now, but um, in the game it'll update to this with our event. Okay, let's try that one more time. There's our score, and if you uh, click, it updates with our score. Okay, that's just how you implement a basic score in game develop keep it updated. Obviously you can put this anywhere on the screen and um, all you need to do is add an event like this after anything that you want the score to be incremented after. Okay.